Hey everyone, my name is Lance and I work for Galileo where I create awesome projects that help kids to grow as innovators. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fan powered zipline carrier for one of your toys. And the goal here is to get the carrier to zip along the zipline as far as possible. And to do this, it'll help to be reflective by noticing how the carrier's sails are or aren't catching the wind and then redesigning it to make it go as far as possible. So let's jump right in. All you need is some paper, some tape, a straw, scissors, some string, a small lightweight toy, and of course, any plug-in electric fan. The first step is to make the carrier face out of a piece of paper. And to do this, you'll fold it in half widthwise, or otherwise known as hamburger style, just like this, and then tape the open edge closed. Now, to make this more rigid, you'll fold up the edges on this side and the opposite side, just like this. Next, cut out a strip of paper. This is going to be where the carrier hangs from the zip line. And tape this to the center of the carrier on both sides. To finish the carrier base, just cut a straw in half and then tape it on top of that strip of paper. Now we need to set up the zip line. And the first step is to cut a 10 to 12 foot length of string and tie one end of it to the top of the fan. Before anchoring the other end of the string, make sure to thread it through the straw of the carrier base. Then tie the string somewhere on the other side of the room so that the string is parallel to the ground. Or tape the string to the wall using some special taping techniques. First, tape the string onto the wall just like this and put a second layer of tape over the string so it doesn't rip through. Then put two more pieces of tape, one on each side, just like this, to stop those first pieces from peeling away. Then finally, apply one more piece of tape on the remainder of the string so that it doesn't pull through. Okay, the carrier base and fan zip line setup are ready to go. Let's go ahead and give it a test. Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> it's not working. Well, that didn't work. So now's the time to be reflective by thinking carefully about how we can keep our toys safe um, and perhaps more challenging, how we can create and eventually redesign sails on the carrier so that it can go farther. One idea is that you can build some kind of seat for your toy so that it's less likely to fall out. You can also try cutting out and then taping on pieces of paper that will help catch more of the wind. Okay, let's try this out. Well, at least the toy is staying inside the carrier, but uh, it's not really going anywhere, so we need to redesign. Well, I'm being reflective and noticing that one sail probably isn't enough to catch all the wind that we need to propel the carrier far down the zip line. I'm also noticing that the sail is flopping forward and we need this to stay in this position so that it can catch the wind and propel the carrier. Okay, now our carrier has two sails. And to stop these sails from flopping forward, I taped on these strips of paper here that connect the sail to the carrier base. Okay, I think we're ready for another test. Let's see what happens this time. Nice! So this design definitely worked much better, but it still only went about halfway down the length of my zipline. That means there's still plenty of room to reflect and improve the zipline carrier. For example, what if you built bigger sails? Or what if you made more than two sails? Or what if the shape of the sails could be changed to catch more wind? There's a ton of opportunity for you to practice being an innovator. All right, that's it for this video. If you made your own fan-powered zipline carrier, we'd love to see. So please share a photo or video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.